to all people around the world who love collecting the philodendrons like Prince of Orange philodendron. Welcome to this very special episode of my gardening because I will be sharing to you my secrets in growing this Prince of Orange philodendron. So I have so many now. But before we will propagate the Prince of Orange philodendron, I will be sharing to you the dust and don'ts in propagating the Prince of Orange philodendron. So I started collecting this plant last two years. I only got one. This is the mother plant. But now as you can see at my back, I have a lot of Prince of Orange philodendron. Before we will propagate this Prince of Orange philodendron, I will be revealing my secrets, tips pala, in growing this philodendron healthy and more pups to grow or maraming osbo. So I will give to you the das and don'ts in growing the philodendron at your home. To increase the number of your collected Prince of Orange philodendrons, I have here my own suggested tips that you should and you shouldn't do in growing your philodendrons. Ano ba itong nakalista dito? Ito na nga, mag-start na tayo. Number one, choose your location. In choosing the location, philodendrons love to stay like a rainforest. Yung maraming kahoy. Half-shaded area, dapat may nakashade sa kanya. And do not expose your fellow to a direct sunlight. <laughs> Number two, soil conditioning. If you think your fellow dendron is not growing well, you need to change immediately your soil. Gardening soil is useful. You need to enrich with coconut fiber. And number three, for watering, lukewarm water is very ideal, like rain water, which means rain water is ideal. Kung nag-collect ka ng water, dapat hindi mo idilig ka agad. I-leave mo lang yan, i-cover mo bukas mo na idilig. You need to use the room tempered water, then do not use faucet water or cool. Kasi hindi mo alam yung water na galing sa faucet, pwedeng mainit or pwede rin malamig. Ayaw ng philodendron yan. Gusto niya lukewarm water. Ano ba kinalaman ng fertilizing at cutting sa pagpapadami ng Prince of Orange philodendron? Yung fertilizer is very important kasi yun yung nag-sustain ng life ng every plant that we have collected. You need to fertilize your Prince of Orange philodendron once a month. So for me, I use organic fertilizer, yung coco peat. I mix it with coconut fiber, yung mga ugat-ugat ng mga coconut kinokollect ko. Yung ipinaghalo ko lang once a month. And in doing that fertilizing of your philodendron, you can see the effect. Kasi makikita mo yan sa mga growing leaf niya kung nag siya tapos nag-green. Then, during the winter period, dapat yung watering level mo is less. Hindi mo siya dapat bibigyan araw-araw kasi cold yung temperature. Aside sa paggamit ng organic fertilizer, katulad nitong coco peat, meron ka bang another suggestion in using fertilizer in terms of inorganic one? Sa inorganic one, you need to use liquid fertilizer sa philodendron mo. Dapat liquid. Huwag kang gumamit ng hindi liquid. Kasi kapag hindi liquid, pag mag dito sa soil, maapektuhan ma yung kanyang growing of stem. Yun yung mangyayari na hindi siya kaagad magbigay ng mga malaki o mga malalapad ng mga dahon at marami dahon. So maapektuhan yung cutting period mo na dapat 3 months mag-cut ka na sa kanya. We're hearing the dust and carrying Prince of Orange Philodendron. As a plant lover, I'd like also to know if what is the reason why the leaves of this plant turn into brown one? The main reason why it na turn brown yung leaves ng philodendrons because of the too much exposure to the sunlight. As we all know that all plants love sunlight, but too much sunlight exposure to them can cause the turning of leaves into brown color. So you mean it should be in a moderate sunlight? Yes. The philodendron must be exposed in a shaded area. It shouldn't be exposed in the direct sunlight. 
As I've heard also, some of the plant lover, they're using oil. They apply oil in the leaves of the Prince of Orange. Is it true? Is it applicable one in doing or in carrying Prince of Orange? Using oil in making the leaves shiny after your philodendrons is not advisable. Kasi yung oil kasi kinakover niya yung stomata stomata ng leaves na kung saan doon papasok dapat yung process ng food. So what will happen kung i-wipe mo yan ng oil directly without mix, mixing the water, ang mangyayari ng leaves niya ay masusunod. This is what happened to the leaf when you applied a oil. Yung mga ginagamit natin panluto directly. Ito yung nangyayari. Nagkukos siya ng discoloration of the leaves tapos unti-unti na susunog. So what I did, kinat ko na lang. So if you want na maging shiny yung Prince of Orange Philodendrons na leaf, dapat i-wipe mo lang yan ng pure water using the clean cloth para mas shiny siya tingnan. Just like this one. Ito siya. Water lang dapat. Do not use oil. Kasi nasisira yung kanyang leaves. At nasusunog. Well, as we all know, all of the plant lovers are longing to increase the number of their Prince of Orange collection. So I would like to know in the cutting section, is it necessary na dapat wala ng leaf, leaf or leaves na itetera once you do the cutting? In cutting, it is not advisable that you need to cut the philodendrons without the leaf. You need to include also one, at least one leaf in cutting para makapagbigay siya ng new leaf. Kasi pag without leaf yan or leaves nagsasama mo in cutting the stem, you cannot say that you have a 100% assurance na merong magusbong na leaf o tutubo na bagong baby niya. Kasi mamamatay talaga yan pag walang dahon na kasama in cutting. Then napapansin ko din dito sa ano, marami siyang aerial roots. So, dapat ba siyang putulin once you do the cutting section or propagation of Prince of Orange? Well, if you can still remember in science that plants have parts. So when we say aerial roots, and that is the root, we call it root. The main function of the roots is to sustain the growing of the stem in developing the healthy propagation of your Prince of Orange philodendrons. So if you don't like the aerial roots of your philodendrons, just leave it to the earth. Hayaan mo siya na gagapang yan sa earth because they know how to entrench themselves on earth. Alam na alam nila kung paano magbuhay. So do not cut the aerial roots because it supports the stem or plant to grow. So from your suggestion, it should not be cut, no? So the dapat tayo dito sa ano sa watering. Dapat bang gumamit tayo ng hot water to water this Prince of Orange? Sensitive ba siya dito or hindi? Always remember that hot or cold water can give a what we call bad effect to our life. Like plants, plants don't need hot water. Hot water can kill the plants. Well, here in Philippines, no, you'll know already that we have a, uh, we have the summer and rainy season. So, for example, in rainy season, if I use a hot water to water Prince of Orange, would you suggest or recommend that it should be done? Yes or no? I would like to suggest the survival rate of your Prince of Orange philodendrons is not 100% assured. Probably mamamatayan. Wala kang survival rate. Okay, so thank you. Any comment that you can give from the dust and dance that you have shared? Yes. Before we will end this episode, all the words that I have said, I have uttered about the dust and don'ts in growing the Prince of Orange Philodendron are the learning experiences that I become part of it because I can prove to you and that is the very and that is the observable facts that I can show to you that I made it, I did it, and I can say that it's real. The reality speaks of the growing of my Prince of Orange Philodendron. And always remember that according to what Miss Universe Henny said, through education we can learn best. 
If I can do it, you can also do it. <laughs>